area looks very posh and this area is very near to the CM camp office and it's just beside the Raja Bodh Setu bridge. Right now we are in front of Indira Gandhi National Museum of Mankind. So this museum is specifically famous for uh, the tribal hamlets and how the houses used to be in all this. And in here we can see the evolution of mankind at different stages. And uh, Look at the quality of the youth in those days. It's very strong. I This is a hut known as Bunga, which people used to live in the older depths. It is completely made up of mud. If you see this hut, there is a small hole on the outside of the hut. That, that one acts as a source of light during the morning times.
you look the entrance here is very low in height see height just four feet i guess we need to be very careful <laughs> Look at this amazingly curved. If you observe. Most of the houses are in cylindrical in shape in those days. Almost all of them are in cylindrical in shape. Look at the rooftop. I think this is uh, uh, old mahal I guess look at the structure it was been uh, not too old but uh, like the 300 years back I guess look at the carvings on the stones it's like an old building come on let's enter inside that was used to place the deepas or candles during the night times for light and from there it is used as a ventilation in those days for the air to let inside and also inside this building you can see some pipelines which will let the rain water to go outside I will show one, uh, one pipeline like that at the entrance of this building I try to explore and go inside but there is nothing much it's completely surrounded by forest and mountains on all sides so there is nothing much we should go at the center only We are going to other side and explore there. So this is Indira Gandhi Rashtri Manav Sangralaya means a museum for the mankind. So here you can find gallery of all the rituals related to the different states of India. Now I am gonna show you inside and also the some of the utensils used by our ancient Oh, 
This is uh, known as the Charlotte wheel, which will, which is very famous during the Dasra times. Actually, it came from the Dasra district, which is a part of Ch Chhattisgarh state. There, uh, there will be a famous temple known as Danteshwari Ma. There, they used to celebrate the Dasra by riding this chariot with the help of ropes and taking a procession along the main streets. It belonged to the 14th century. I guess it was donated by the king of Bastar there. If, if you look at there, it has almost 8 big wheels and it is completely made of wood. Even though it was made in those days, it still stands strong today also. See, there are mainly two ratas here. This is the bigger one and that is the smaller one at the right side. You need to walk 1 km from there in order to reach the museum which is the end point here. But there is no transfer facility inside here. Either we should come on our own vehicle, otherwise by walk only we need to go there. Since we have been cycling all the way in the Vanavia National Park, we got exhausted and almost that is about to close here. The timings is 5:15. Let's be closing by 5:40. Let's see, we can see it or not. Don't know, but we are going. Atta, atta, atta. Atta. Now we are here in the mythological trail. Here we are seeing the these crowd architectures which are related to the mythological figures of Hinduism. Sir. Under bed is all around
हाँ नाम नाम क्या कैमरा हाँ the security guy exactly the guy behind me he is the one who helped us to get the us book the the Uber was here the hardly no signal here and the other thing cannot guess the routes here easily it's um it's somewhat tricky here so we waited nearly for half an hour.